watching Love and Hip Hop and Lemon. Check yourself. Season two. You'll be watching us watch the show for the very first time. And you'll be getting our natural and our honest reactions. We're watching it with you. The scene you're about to see, Stevie calls me to meet me at this little hookah place so we can discuss Eva. And of course, the conversation goes to, you know, here, there, and everywhere, and who am I dating, and he heard I was with a new man, and blah, 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 blah. What's new with you? Oh. I hear what's new. What? What do you hear? Got a new guy now. Why are you worried about what I'm doing? Worry about your little hoe you running around the track. Stevie, what this dude do? I thought we were talking about our daughter. Right. Every time we go to talk about Eva, conversation always comes back to me and what I'm doing, as you can see, he's not over it. Why well, have the second tier when you could be sitting in the penthouse? Oh, please. Am I gonna be sitting in the penthouse with him and another bitch? Are you serious? Out of here. I'm happy that you're happy. You know what Are I'm saying? You? I call bull. He in the music business, right? Play the banjo. <laughs> what you so worried about him it's for? Not, I'm not. I'm not worried. Sound like you worried to me. I want to talk about you. All right. Let's get back to the reason I am here. Well, you clearly know I don't like my daughter around your friend. Clearly. I don't get that. When Jocelyn is bringing not only um, money to the table. You know what I'm saying? But she's bringing a little more energy to the table. Welcome that. It's I don't not see a, what's the problem. She you mean, don't? She's not a threat to her. He doesn't see what's the problem. Are you serious? Jocelyn is indeed appropriate. She's a breadwinner. Jocelyn ain't walking around naked. Jocelyn ain't walking around with no guns. Jocelyn ain't walking around with no drugs. Come on. She's cool with me. If she cool with me, <laughs> she cool with the babies. She's completely inappropriate for a toddler. It's not like when she around and she's doing you know, crazy things really? or nothing. I don't know what she's doing, cause I'm not there. When I am there, she's disrespectful to me. So all I can go by is you just disrespectful. And I don't want that around my kid, period. I miss you. <laughs> you miss me? Really? I thought you were in a great relationship. That's what I felt at the moment. I ain't eat McDonald's french fries. Damn sure miss the way them things taste. He has to realize that I'm happy where I am right now. He can miss me all he wants. I never give up. I'm not a quitter. You and I, sweetheart, no more. I bet your bottom dollar if you put a lie detector on that lady, ask her do she love me. In this scene, Tracy and I are in the space for the sneaker boutique that we're trying to open up. It gets a little crazy, so yeah, check this out. I agreed to interview some potential candidates, but it looked like he brought in a bunch of hoes. <laughs> Stop calling these women hoes. They were nice, respectable women. How you doing, girl? Titties. Look at her breasts! <laughs> did anybody see her titties? Of course you did, because they everywhere. You got nice teeth? Thank you. you got nice teeth? <laughs> and you're DJ Drew. Uh-huh. Hi. You know who he is, bitch. You know his name. I noticed a lower back tattoo when you walked in. I do have Some one. Some may say that's a hole in one. I'm sorry. Um, what the hell is going on? He says the most reckless. This is it. This is how you interview me? Yeah. OK. I was having fun in that interview. And I had more fun making Tracy frustrated. I wouldn't consider myself a video vixen. Um, they call them video vixens. Oh, yeah, I thought they were called video hoes. No. no. I'm not calling her a hoe. You a hoe. You came to the interview in a belly shirt. You a hoe. Tracy thinks that every girl with breasts and a vagina possibly can be hoes. And if they're around me, they're definitely hoes. OK. Well, Let, let's be professional. <laughs> really, I'm the one being unprofessional. I think this went well. I mean, I don't really <laughs> I mean, think this went well. What I'm thinking about is people walk in and see beautiful bodies. Damn right. Sex sells. Can y'all be quiet, please? Oh, okay. That bitch right there, she wanted to get smacked. She wanted to get smacked. Wait until I see you in the street. Actually, can y'all leave? At that point, I'm like, all right, let me chill, because this is probably all my fault. Yeah, she's, she's a, a hater. hater. These bitches don't know who I am. They don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? What did she call me? Are you taking off your shoes? Did she just call me a hater at a job Tracy. interview? She somehow took her shoes off without moving. My shoes comes off when there's disrespect. I'm sorry. I'm about that life. Bye, bitch. See you later. Where's your degree? Do you have a degree? 
Can you spell degree? Yeah. But all of them look like those. And I would have whooped each and every one of their asses. Of course these bitches in here to disrespect me. That's what you did. You brought them in here to disrespect me. He do it on purpose. He lives his life to with me. It got to be.